Hey you guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back. So today's video is going to be a huge review of highly rated Korean skincare and I'm so excited because we have so much skincare to talk about here today and you guys know I'm like a skincare junkie. So super excited and out of these products, there's a lot here, but out of these I definitely found some new like holy grail status items. I Some of these will definitely be sticking around in my routine. So super excited, but I've had my eye on some of these for so long. They're just those products that you see everywhere. They're in everybody's thumbnails. You always hear people talking about them and the reviews on Yes Style's site, there's like thousands of reviews for some of these products. So these are best sellers, they're favorites from everybody and they're probably, you know, staples in a lot of people's skincare routines. So yeah, super excited and also excited to be partnering with Yes Style in this video. They are awesome. They actually, they let me choose whatever products I wanted from their site. They didn't give me any guidelines for this video. They were just like, have at it, have fun, which that's like my ideal kind of sponsorship. So I want to thank you to them and yeah, lots of products to get through. So we'll go ahead and get started. So yes Style is one of like the largest skincare retailers out there. They, ha they have so many products on their site, anything from skincare to beauty to clothing, just anything you could want. You could have just a field day on that site. I'm just, yeah, just such a fan. I actually discovered them early this year through one of my favorites here on YouTube, Stephanie Nicole. She always raved about them. She talked about how reliable their shipping was and how great their prices were. But all shipping to the U.S. is free if you spend at least over $35, which I think is a great deal. I think, is that better than Ulta? It might be, not sure about that, but pretty good deal. So, and just so many products on there. The possibilities are endless if you're a skincare fan. And yeah, you guys know I've been diving into Korean skincare. I'm such a fan, especially, I think Cosrx is the first brand that I really got into. I feel like I was a little hesitant because I wasn't aware of how many cruelty-free brands there are represented by Korean beauty. And there really is, there's so many options out there, but the cruelty-free status is listed in the description of each product. So. I just feel like the website is just really transparent, easy to use, and yeah, it's just, it's a great, reliable place to buy Korean skincare. All right, but before we get into the products, I should tell you guys about my skin type, and just to put it out there, just if a product doesn't work for me, doesn't mean it won't work for you. Skincare is so subjective. It's just amazing how how different, like there can be, you know, a creator that I really respect their reviews and I really trust them, but I've tried skincare from them and I just they just did not get along with my skin so I just wanted to put that out there but my skin type is dry it's definitely I have a lot of like textured flaky patches I will have some like oiliness pop up in my t-zone but for the most part it's on the dry side and I'll be 35 actually this week which is crazy I cannot believe it time is flying oh my god I'm halfway to 40 Whoa. but generally I look for products that just smooth out the skin and pack in the hydration and also sun protection as well I have some sunscreens that I'm going to talk about but yeah so so just wanted to put that out there so you guys know my skin type and yeah let's get into the product okay so I won't even attempt to pronounce this brand name but it's a short name so let me just spell it out it's I-U-N-I-K is the brand and this is their beta glucan power moisture serum and this has been like a game changer for me for the longest time I was looking for products with beta glucan in them I don't know you guys probably have heard of beta glucan being you know an ingredient in food it's supposed to it's known to lower cholesterol if you ingest it but it's actually a really great skincare ingredient as well I actually heard Penn from Penn Smith skincare just rave about this ingredient but she talked about how beta glucan is this like emerging anti-aging ingredient it's great for smoothing the skin and just a great wrinkle fighter so I was really excited about this and I have to tell you this just is great for smoothing out and plumping the skin it just makes my skin feel so moisturized and hydrated I, I just love it and the texture of this almost reminds me of the Cosrx the um, snail mucin that kind of like not sticky but kind of that slimy texture but slimy in a good way like that super hydrating way it just it feels so good on the skin but it just makes your skin feel so like nourished and replenished and I love the packaging too. It comes in this like huge glass bottle and I feel like, I don't know, it just looks really elegant. It looks like a product you would find on like Lisa Vanderpump's vanity or something, I don't know. But it's just, yeah, I just enjoy using this. It does good things for my skin and yeah, I'm just such a fan of this, just my new favorite. Okay, so speaking of serums, let's talk about this Cosrx Triple Hyaluronic Moisture Ampule. This is my new favorite hyaluronic acid serum. It's just so great and moisturizing, and I love the formula because it's so silky. It just absorbs into the skin really nicely. Forget the Ordinaries, that used to be my go-to, but I just would struggle with that one because it just pilled and flakes so much. I couldn't use it during the day because of that. It just looked horrible underneath makeup. I needed the nighttime for it to sink in. The next morning, I would wake up with like 
smooth, you know, hydrated skin. But yeah, that like flakiness is just not worth it for me. But this is just so silky. It absorbs really quickly into the skin and it just really just packs in the moisture. It just, it's just a great serum. All right, and then let's talk about an eye cream. So this is the Benton Fermentation Eye Cream. This eye cream is stacked with good ingredients. So many good things in here. So here, I have my notes down here. Let me read to you guys. This is just the highlights, but so many good things. So the first ingredient in here is Galactomyces. Galactomyces is the ingredient that made the SK2 brand just so popular and just hyped up because everybody was like going crazy over, over this ingredient. The benefits of this ingredient, I get my all my ingredient information from Inky Decoder by the way, I'll link them down below, but they actually, they talked about the story and I just thought it was so cool. But in the 1970s over in Japan, all these Japanese sake brewers were actually, they're brewing sake, they're using their hands to develop this yeast and I don't know, I don't know how you make sake. And I guess they use their hands to mix it, I don't know, but they came out with these like supple, smooth hands and yet they had these, in the document it said that these wrinkly faces, but it prompted them to look into this specific ingredient, this Galactomyces yeast, and they actually found that it really does have these like powerful antioxidant effects, it can protect the skin, it smooths the skin, it actually can help with hyperpigmentation. So yeah, I don't know, I just feel like it's a neat ingredient and it's pretty cool that it's the first ingredient. And there's so many other good things in here. There's a peptide, there's aloe leaf extract, which aloe can be soothing on the skin, beta-glucan, there's that beta-glucan, that anti-ager again, and then ceramide, ceramides help to restore the skin's barrier, they help keep moisture in. So yeah, they're, that's kind of the highlights of the cream. But you can see it's like a pretty stiff lotion. It doesn't really move. It does take a little bit to absorb into the skin, but it's really like silky and emollient. And yeah, it just is so smoothing on the skin. But I'm actually gonna insert a picture in a second, but I tested this out on one of my under eyes the night before I worked a 12 hour shift. I took a picture at work. Please ignore the mascara smudges underneath my eyes. It was it was a long day. I was so impressed when I looked in the mirror. You could visibly see like smoothing on the eye that where I applied the eye cream. The other eye just looks more creepy. There's those visible fine lines. It doesn't look as hydrated. So yeah, the proof is in the pudding there. I'm super excited about this. The packaging is huge. Let me show you this up against another one of my eye creams. Where are you? Here's a Botanics eye cream. It's like half the size. You get so much product. They actually have a travel size of this, which is only, I think it's literally like five bucks. It's so cheap. That's another thing. These prices are just amazing on all these products. But yeah, if you just want to try it out, you can get the trial size. It's just really great. I know I talked about the Indie Lee eye balm and I think in my favorites video, was it last month or the month before? But that eye cream is going to be my go-to if I'm like super dry, even if I'm like flaky underneath my eyes. This is a little lighter. It's not as heavy as the Indie Lee, just to compare it to something, just so you guys, you know, have a comparison. But yeah, I'm just really loving this eye cream. I was just really impressed by the smoothing and I'm excited to see some even more, hopefully, long-term effects on that. So excited about that. And then let's see, I got have three more favorites and then we'll get into some products. I didn't get along with so much, but this product, oh my gosh, I'm just in love. But this is the Make Hoop, the raw sauce. This is an essence. I've been using this sometimes at night, but mainly in the morning. But this is one of the most like luxurious skincare products that I think I own. And it's just, it's just such an experience when you use this product. I just love it. It's something that, I don't know, I feel like a facialist would apply this to you and just like pat it into your skin and just, I don't know, it just soothes your soul. It's just amazing. I just love it so much. But this product is like a cult classic K-beauty favorite. There's so many people that love this. This was actually reformulated recently and I will, I have to apologize to you guys because I put out misinformation on my Instagram page recently. I initially put up a review on this and I described that I wasn't a fan. I love this, but I wasn't a fan that it contained alcohol and then also a fragrance, which it does contain fragrance, but they have since reformulated this without the alcohol. So I did make an edit on that Instagram post, but just so you guys know, there's no alcohol in this. It does contain a fragrance. I'm not big on fragrance in skincare products, but to me, I don't know, sometimes you know when a product just works and you fall in love with it. I've never experienced any irritation from this, but I, I should put that out there in case any of you guys have any sensitivities. But the fragrance to this almost like adds to the experience for me because I like using this in the morning. It just has this like awakening, like it's super light, but very fresh at the same time. It's just, I don't know, it like wakes you up. I just love it. So I'll use this in the morning. Sometimes I'll rinse my face with just some cold water and then I'll just pat this into my skin. And it just gives the most like smoothing, 
calming effect to the skin but it just feels like you're pushing the hydration into your skin and it just feels so good my skin always feels so moisturized after using this I swear this is where the term glass skin came from it truly gives your skin that like glowing plumpness that brightness that dewiness it's just amazing let me just show you how it looks on my hand so it has this like water like consistency it does have some thickness to it but it goes onto the skin so silky and do you see that dewiness and it almost like smooths out the skin too it's just oh, i don't know it just does really good things for my skin i just love it and they actually say that this maple water the molecule is actually smaller than h2o the molecule of water so it can actually penetrate the skin better than water I don't know how reliable that is. I haven't really found any, I didn't see any studies on this. So, but it does really just, it does hydrate the skin. It makes my skin feel so silky. I just love it. It also has soybean in here as well. So it may have some brightening effects from it. But if anything, I just love the hydration and just the awakening effects it gives my skin in the morning. So I'm just really excited about that. And it comes, like how pretty is the bo this bottle? It comes in this gorgeous like glass bottle and it actually comes with this little like drawstring cover on it it's just so cute i was just it was something i was just really excited about when i opened this so i'm just such a fan all right and then this cleansing oil by dear claire's so i've been loving this and first of all just the brand dear claire's in general has so many great products i love their their essence it's actually i think it's called a toner i think it's called the supple preparation toner it's so good it almost reminds me a lot of the make coupe raw sauce it's amazing their sunscreen is really great they have that soft airy sunscreen it's amazing but this cleansing oil i think is going to be one of my new favorites but this is the gentle black deep cleansing oil but there's so many like antioxidant packed oils in here very like emollient rich oils in here just some really good skin nourishing oils like wahoba seed oil there's sesame seed oil in here black currant seed oil i don't know too many things about that but that's in here for whatever Whatever that's worth shea butter so just some really great moisturizers and emollients and this really does a great job with cleansing my skin but not stripping it it just really leaves my skin soft it almost feels like how my skin feels if I put like a light moisturizer on which never happens with a cleanser I feel like my face immediately feels tight after I wash off my cleanser but that really just let leaves such like a nice soft like supple feeling to my skin I just love it I will say for a full face of makeup no go it's not good it almost like i feel like it it develops this like milky emulsion and as you're rubbing it into your skin the makeup you see the makeup breaking off but you can't like wash it off your face it takes so many splashes of water to finally rinse off the makeup it's almost like with makeup it doesn't rinse it all cleanly off the skin it just takes so many rinses so not a big fan if you have a full face of makeup on that's probably not the best to break it up but if you just want a lightweight cleansing oil that's going to leave your skin hydrated this is just amazing but yeah not the best for getting off makeup but for leaving your skin nice and hydrated and clean it's just really great and the next step is a sunscreen i've been obsessing over my new favorite this just wears so well underneath makeup this is a mineral sunscreen and this is by purito this is their comfy water sunblock in an spf of 50. this is a 70 percent water-based formulation and it really does feel just like a silky lotion going onto the skin it's really lightweight it absorbs quickly you get absolutely no pilling or flaking on underneath makeup or even on its own too it just it doesn't ball up it just absorbs really quickly so I just love that and I'm actually wearing it today underneath my foundation and it's the first sunscreen I literally have been keeping in my makeup bag because it just it just goes onto the skin there's no question with it when it's underneath makeup I feel like a lot of sunscreens I really have to be careful with before I apply my foundation I really have to sit with it for the 15 minutes I know you're supposed to do that regardless but sometimes honestly if I'm in a rush I throw my sunscreen throw my foundation and with this it just always mixes so well with my foundation so yeah I'm just really excited about this so it's a light cream it's not runny at all but like I said it's really lightweight and you can see it absorbs really quickly no white cast here it is compared with my other hand so you can see that i don't know i don't notice white cast you guys no it just i feel like it just blends into the skin so nicely i'm just loving it it's going to be my new favorite and then let's look at the ingredients so there are some good things in here you have your mineral sunscreens zinc oxide titanium dioxide there's niacinamide in here which is actually a great skin brightener and it has been shown to smooth out wrinkles i think it has to be a higher concentration though so it doesn't list the concentration in here but yeah some good things it wears so nicely on the skin it absorbs really quickly it's moisturizing but lightweight just really great i'm just obsessing over it i love it all right and then next up let's talk about the all clean balm by hemp 
this this balm I've seen on every skincare bloggers Instagram feed it's just everywhere the packaging is gorgeous it has these like pretty banana leaves on it it's just the packaging just pulls you in but the formulation is just amazing I've been loving this it's really lightweight on the skin it really breaks down makeup it doesn't leave any residue but there's some great hydrators in here we have there's shea butter there's a coconut fruit extract there is fragrance in here why the heck does fragrance have to be in everything but like I said sometimes I don't mind it but I don't really love the fragrance in this one it actually it kind of has it has a citrusy smell but almost like a cleaning product citrusy smell so it's not the most pleasant fragrance to me anyway but I just I love how quickly and easily this gets off makeup and I love this packaging not only like I said at the beginning it's cute packaging but it's also really functional so you have this top that opens up and then you have this little shelf you can actually it comes with a little spatula so you can keep the spatula up here and then you lift this off and then that brings you to the product or you can close it up and kind of twist this off so it's nice that you have this little, you know, the shelf area to keep your spatula in. So I really appreciate that. So yeah, I just appreciate that little detail there. Is this going to replace my Pixie Double Cleanse? Probably not. You do get a Tummer product in here, but I just, I feel like the Pixie Double Cleanse really hydrates my skin. This, like I said, doesn't really leave a residue, but the Pixie Double Cleanse, it just, I don't know, it leaves almost like a silky feeling to the skin. Not like a residue feeling, but just a smoothing like hydrated feeling that it rinses off makeup great but I still I don't know I just like the consistency of the pixie double cleanse a little better but you get so much product for your money for this guy and yeah like I said love that packaging all right and then another sunscreen to talk about this is by Cosrx this is their shield fit snail essence sunscreen this is an SPF of 50 this is a chemical sunscreen I was so excited about this because this has the snail essence in here which I'm such a huge fan of that does such good things for your skin but just not a fan of the sunscreen. I just felt like it had a really strong chemical sunscreen smell to it that definitely stuck around and just, I don't know, it was a little nauseating to me. It was just a little too much. I did enjoy the feel of this on my skin. It just gives a nice layer of moisture. It doesn't feel like sunscreen on your face. It's not sticky at all, but that smell. Do you notice I have I kind of have a thing with smells, but the smell was just a little bit too strong for me. And if I'm going to go with the formulation, I definitely like the Purita one a little bit better. Yeah, this kind of leaves a layer on my skin, just almost like a residue. And it doesn't absorb as quickly as the Purito sunblock does. So yeah, I'm definitely more of a fan of the Purito one. Just This was just a little bit too strong smelling for me, and I just don't like the residue it leaves. It's moisturizing, it's good. It leaves a nice dewy sheen to the skin, but yeah, I just, I don't know, I just didn't like the feel of it and the smell was just a little too strong. And then next up, let's talk about these Mizan eye patches. These are their Snail Repair Intensive Gold Eye Patches. And I was really excited about these because believe it or not, I have yet to try an eye patch. I don't know why, I'm not really sure. Maybe it's just like an extra step in my skincare routine that I don't, I didn't always feel was necessary. But this has the Snail Mucin in here, which I love. I just feel like it has so many hydrating benefits to the skin, which I didn't really talk about this before, but it actually has natural skincare ingredients. Like there's naturally occurring peptides in Snail Mucin. There's naturally occurring hyaluronic acid. Just so many good things in Snail Mucin Filtrate. It's just pretty cool. But yeah, that's in here. And then also there's a peptide in here. So some good things. I think there is, there's fragrance in here as well. These were good. Um, I don't really think they were as moisturizing as I would have liked. They weren't as smoothing as that eye cream. I just feel like they were fun to use, but didn't really just do the job. They kind of, they did smooth and depuffed slightly, but I think I have been keeping these in the fridge. I think that was more to do with it than the ingredients. But yeah, they were fun to use, but for the price, they're $24. I just didn't see that big of a difference. If you're an eye patch fan, maybe it'd be fun to try out because I don't know, I haven't seen them with the snail mucin in them yet. So yeah, they were okay, just not my favorite. All right, and last but not least, let's talk about moisturizers. These are, I'm talking about these last because they're not, I don't know, I was hoping to find like my new moisturizer in this bunch, but I really didn't. They're both okay. The one has better ingredients than the other one does. I think I just need something a little bit more moisturizing for my dry skin, but let's talk about them. Let's talk about this Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream first. This is actually, this is a Dr. Dre approved skincare product, which I don't know why I'm laughing at that. I guess it's because she doesn't really approve too many things that often. She's a dermatologist and she's very critical of skincare ingredients and she's awesome because she's 
so all about the scientific evidence, which I really appreciate. But yeah, she just doesn't like any fragrance in skincare and she doesn't like any of that gimmicky skincare stuff. But she raved about the ingredients in here and there are there's so many good things. So there's sodium hyaluronate, there's shea butter, there's wahoba oil, there's a ceramide in here, there's also peptides, there's vitamin E in here, there's also centella asiatic. Asiatica. I feel like anytime I say that ingredient, I want to say AstraZeneca, like the drug company. I don't, I don't know why that comes to mind. But so Centella is actually huge in Korean skincare now. It's actually a plant. It's an extract. I think it's actually the name of a plant, but it does great things for the skin. But it's a great antioxidant. It has smoothing properties, some great moisturizing properties, and it actually has been a known wound healer. Which any skincare ingredient that has been shown to be a wound healing agent is probably likely going to smooth the skin, smooth out wrinkles because it's going to obviously regenerate the skin. So pretty impressive there. That's like, like I said, it's everywhere in Korean skincare right now. So that Centella is in here, so many good things. And this is supposed, this is advertised as an intensive soothing care after sun care cream. So if you have some inflammation going on from the sun or whatever it may be, this probably could be a good soothing moisturizer for you. For me, it's just... It was good. It was really, it's really silky going onto the skin. It absorbs really quickly, but it just wasn't enough for me. I felt like I always woke up with really soft skin after using this, but my skin almost felt like, I don't know, it just didn't feel plump and hydrated and just, I don't know, I, my skin didn't look quite as dewy in the morning as it does when I use other of my favorite moisturizers. So yeah, just a little bit too light for my skin, but if you have normal to oily skin, I feel like that could be a great moisturizer. It's a really great, great skincare ingredient. So yeah, just not enough for my dry skin. All right, and then last but not least, let's talk about this all-in-one snail repair cream by Mizan. I think I'm saying that right, Mizan, Mizan. But I was so excited about this because first of all, look at this container. It's huge. You get so much product in here. I thought this was gonna last me forever, but unfortunately I have to, I may just give this to a friend because it's a little bit too drying for my skin. Every morning when I would wake up after using this, my skin just felt so tight. It, it did heal my dry patches if I had any, but it just, my skin just still wasn't like smoothed out. And I just had this like tight dehydrated feeling. And after later looking into the ingredients, I saw that alcohol is actually listed. It's pretty much like dead center on the ingredient list. So pretty high up there for an alcohol. So that was a bummer. So I don't know, alcohol, sometimes alcohol is put in products to be a driver of, it, it's supposed to drive other ingredients into the skin. But yeah, I don't know, for me, maybe there's just too much of it in here. It just felt drying on my skin. Bummer because like I said, I love my snail, snail mucin, but just, too drying for my dry skin. If you have oily skin, maybe this would you'd be a fan of this. But there are so many reviews of this, so this has to work for some people. Maybe it's more oily skin people. Not sure, but I don't know. I love the amount of product you get with this, but just it was too drying for my dry skin, unfortunately. So yeah, I didn't necessarily find my Holy Grail moisturizer out of the bunch, but I found like two new Holy Grail serums that I'm obsessed with. I love this new cleansing oil. This Claire's cleansing oil is great. Not really necessarily great for getting off makeup, a heavy duty face of makeup, but a lightweight cleanse. It doesn't strip the skin. I just love it. And what else? Oh my gosh, this eye cream, like I said, is just stacked with good ingredients. So really excited about this too. So, so many good finds in here. Super excited. I'm just such a fan of Korean skincare. I just love that they focus on the good active ingredients, no fillers. I just, yeah, I'm just obsessed. Let me know if you guys have any other Korean skincare favorites. I'd love to know. Even just your current skincare favorites. I always love hearing from you guys. You guys always have the best recommendations. So yeah, leave your comments down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys.